Hi, St Paul's at Rachi. I am so excited to be able to make this announcement. Um, I want to thank the many people who contributed to our survey about returning to in-person church a week or two ago. We had the public health order released on Monday and we still have some details to iron out and work out, but we have enough information to now be able to work toward and plan toward returning to in-person church from Sunday the 31st of October. That will put us on the other side of the 80% mark. That will mean uh, vaccinated people and unvaccinated people will be able to come, will be able to come back as the body of Christ, meeting together around his word. I'm so looking forward to this time. I have been for so long. Um, let me explain to you some of the ways in which we see this working. Um, we're, we're certainly going to have to work on things like ventilation and seating and that kind of thing, but we, we're confident we can do that. We already have plans in place to do many of those things uh, because we want to create a, an environment that is as safe as possible for people to return. How I see it working is like this. For early morning church, you guys you guys are going to stay on Zoom for just a little while longer, probably uh, until that 1st of December mark or something like that. We'll keep reviewing it as we go along. For 9.15 in North Rocks, um, I, we're still talking to North Rocks School, not entirely clear when we're going to be able to move back into the school at this stage, and yet I want as many people as possible to be able to come back to in-person church. On the survey, um, across the board, people just indicated they were trying Chomping at the bit to return. I was so delighted. The number one issue people identified was trying to care for one another through the impacts of isolation that we have been living in for so long. And so I just want as many people as possible to come back. Um, whether or not we have the school available, that is yet to be determined. And so I envisage the way that working is uh, people booking in for 9.15 at Carlingford and we can have 272 people on this on, on this site and we just want to maximise that uh, so each week we'll just ask people to book in for that. Uh, Chinese church, you guys are still just working out exactly when to come back. It may be early November or, or thereabouts. Uh, we then come to a reigning in church, afternoon church. You guys are able to come back. when We, we, we don't need to take bookings and the same is, is true of night church. Um, come back, no bookings. In fact, it may be the case you're at 9.15 or North Rocks and, and you don't have children, in which case we want to even just put out there the idea for a few weeks, would you consider coming along to afternoon church or night church which will mean even more people across the day will be able to participate in person church as i said there's there's still some details to work out we're working through those but let me turn now uh, to to away from sundays and thinking about some of the other activities because one of the groups that has struggled most in this time are those with children. And it is possible for children to come back in, in certain ways, even from next week. And so uh, it's our understanding that most people in year 11 and 12 of SALT have already been vaccinated. In fact, maybe even all people have been vaccinated. And so you're going to hear more from the SALT leaders, but, but we're thinking you guys can start coming back to SALT on Friday nights, even from Friday week. And the SALT leadership going to do some research among maybe some other cohorts can do the same thing and we had a really creative idea for the Friday afternoon Ignite Kids Club and that is uh, if, if parents are vaccinated then you guys can come on site and enjoy coffee while your children at well, your primary school children are back at Ignite after school kids club and so we're also proposing to start that. If you're interested for those on Friday week, coffee will be served on the veranda outside. You can mingle um, outside, mask off at that stage over, over, and have a chit chat, catch up as we plan toward this time together. Now, friends, I, I just, I just want to say, I, as you, I hope you can hear, I've been so looking forward to this. Um, I do understand there's a whole range of questions. If you have any questions or concerns, I really want to encourage you to reach out. Um, it, it, it was really interesting for me looking at the survey uh, that by the end of October, over 99% of people said that said on the survey that they will be vaccinated, double vaccinated. Um, and so I want to I want to just say that for those of you uh, who will find that helpful. But I also want to say, in fact, there's a longer video that's also just been released in the last few days. It's me just reflecting from the Bible about how we can glorify God at this time as we come out of lockdown and as we think about our attitudes toward one another. And I just want to encourage us again. We we want to love everyone in the body of Christ and our world at this time. We have so much opportunity. I think we're going to see that as time goes on. So 
so hopeful Summerfest can go ahead in January. Um, and, and so our brothers and sisters, regardless of the choices you've made, I want to encourage us. Now is the time to extend love to one another in all of the myriad ways in which we can. We'll make more details known as we can in the coming days, uh, but we just wanted to get word out there so that we can all plan toward this time. I can hardly wait, and I hope, like me, you will, you will also give thanks to God that he has so worked to make this possible. Thank you. Excellent.